Hi guys. This video, uh, first of all, is going to be super short. Um, it's just kind of my take on the Carly, Ru um, Carly Russell situation. I um, had actually meant to talk about this a couple of days ago before you know all these other things start breaking, because I wanted to. Um, I mean, rumors are everywhere. I, I heard rumors. I heard this guy on TikTok, you know, saying that he was from her hometown and that when she pulled, when she pulled over, a car pulled up behind her uh, and that car was supposed to be her best friend in it who uh, helped her stage this big thing and the friend. Um, drove you know drove off with it you know but they knew and called the family members and all that kind of stuff to let them know not to worry and everything but like i say rumors <laughs> because um you know i i saw the um news brief the um what do you call it the uh press conference like a lot of you and no one said anything about a car pulling up uh, behind her or anything like that. So um, it was just rumors and speculations. But now everything is, uh, well, most of the evidence is out, according to the police and so forth. Um, I think they were still waiting to talk to Ms. Russell um, yesterday. I haven't really been able to, to really watch the news today, but I think they were still trying to like get a statement from her. I know her family, parents, and so forth are standing behind her. Um, it was a crazy, wild story. It really was. Uh, an orange-haired white guy giving her some Cheetos and, and, or Cheez-Its or whatever, which press conference showed that she had uh, gone to, I don't know if it's at a Target or... Uh, a store nearby and had purchased those things, you know. So, you know, my my initial reaction, well, my, initial, my initial reaction, of course, was, oh my God, I hope they find her. You know, I didn't know anything. We all didn't know anything. Um, and now that things have, have broken somewhat, you know, there's still speculation. I've heard people saying she had a mental break and things like this. Um, she's young. <laughs> I don't know what she was thinking. I really don't. Um, I don't know why. I don't know the motivation behind it. The guy who... Um, who was on TikTok saying about the car, her best friend's car behind her and so forth. He also said something about, which didn't make any sense to me, that she was trying to like quit nursing school or that she's in some type of school program or something. Um, and now I did see some pictures of her in front of a college, you know, or what looked like to be a college. So. I don't know if she's a student or not. I haven't researched that. Um, I hadn't heard that either that I know of. Um, but that didn't really make any sense to me because like staging a kidnapping or whatever, you know, like what would that have to do with you paying or going to school? Like you just drop out, you know? Um, but it seems as though there was some internet searches that she made uh, how to take money from a register and not get caught, uh, looking up uh, the movie Taken and things like that, looking up, you know, uh, all these things, I guess she Google searched them um, because she had a plan, <laughs> you know. Uh, I think what we're all waiting for at this point is the motive behind what all she did and like why, like, something about stealing some money at the cash register so it's just like you don't have to to like pose a kidnapping to you know to if you're gonna steal out of your register or something like that like you i, I still don't understand the reasoning behind it like i did say she's young 
you know, I know the, the, the frontal lobe is not fully, <laughs> fully uh, developed. So I don't really know what she was thinking. I uh, would love to hear from her. I don't think we've heard anything from her yet. Um, and I think they say she got like $107 or something like that. It was a pretty small amount. She'd taken some things from her job, I think, and some money. Uh, but it's not enough to do all of this. Like, you know. Anyway, the next thing uh, that I was going to say is that um, there was speculation on the Internet. There, there was, I know I saw um, a black guy post something about, let's see if this story gets as much uh, recognition as some billionaires in a submarine or something like that, you know. Uh, and I think I saw something else on Instagram, you know, like, you know, were the police going to get on this subject or get on this story? Um, but as we see, they did. You know what I'm saying? And it's good in a lot of ways. It's good that they, you know, got on it, period. It's good that they got on it because she's a woman. It's good that they got on it because she's a black woman, you know, um, and that ain't to say anything about anybody else, race, color, creed, you know orientate none of that it's just to say that as we know a lot of times we as you know black women do not get the recognition of being lost being kidnapped you know um being taken serious for you know essay crimes and things like that so um the thing that i really thought about was if she's lying, if this is a big hoax, if she, which it seems it's turning out to be that way, absolutely. Um, for whatever reason she did it, this story went nationwide. I mean, so it's not one of those things where, oh, it's racism, they're not recognizing the black people. This thing went nationwide very, very fast, you know? And so, like I say, for that, I appreciate that. You know, that gives me a lot of hope. Um, so I, I mean, I don't think that's, you know, I mean, we, we have those angles, we have those situations that happen with us and with black people, but that right there is, is a big testament to the fact that, you know, we have got the world's attention, you know, and they didn't let it slide under the rug, you know, they didn't just let it go as a old missing person or whatever. And that's just it. Uh, of course, the young lady came home. So that put a big twist on it. So um, I guess, you know, as I was going to say, my thing really was if this happens again and it's an actual real situation and not a hoax, not a lie, nobody making it up for whatever they're making it up for, uh, will black women be safe? Like, you know, are they going to ignore us now? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I think that's one of the things that was um, brought up at the pre press conference by one of the uh, journalists. And of course, that guy said, of course, in that town, in because I don't remember where it was, that she went missing. Uh, but that, yeah, we're going to do everything that we always do and did on this case and everything else for each and every crime or, you know, situation that will come up. So that's good. And I'm hoping that that's something that, you know, is nationwide. You know what I'm saying? I never thought anything about anything racist, but, you know, some people have to, you know, they got to throw out all angles, I guess, you know. Um, but I'm going to share a very short story time, then I'm going to cut the video off. Um, now, this was concerning my, my son, though. So this is a child, which is a little bit different when it comes to prioritizing missing person type things. You know, a lot of times when they're over a certain age, they want you uh, to be missing for a certain amount of time. Um, but anyway, this is, we were back in Houston. My son was young. Um, and I, I don't remember, because I was trying to remember the circumstances before I gave this story, but I don't remember. It was something he was supposed to do and come back, and he didn't come back. I don't know if he was emptying the trash or just, you know, something. Um, but long story short, he did not come back. 
uh, in a, the amount of time that he should have come back in. And I was yelling, screaming, you know, back, in, you know, you yelling out the door for your, for your kid, you know, um, and he didn't hear me. He didn't answer and so forth. I panicked, called the police and everything. And I'm telling you the honest truth. The police were there in less than 10 minutes. I mean, they were there like magic. Like I've never seen the cops come that fast for anything ever. Um, but they got a description. They got, I mean, like they were absolutely on it and found him quickly. You know, and what happened is that he had wandered his little tail off over into the other, to the next complex, which is part of the reason why he couldn't hear me when I was calling him. But he was fine. He came home. He came in the house all panicking, eyes all big and everything. And I'm just like, well, I, I couldn't find you. Like, I didn't know where you were, you know, but that's just my little story time with that and like i say my son was a kid so maybe there was a little bit more uh priority put on it you know but i think you know police reaction nationwide reaction uh news media outlet action was on point like i really do i don't see any racism in that and i'm glad you know what i'm saying and hopefully we can all look up look at that objectively and you know at least thank the police and the public or and the media and so forth for that um people that came out and started looking and doing visuals and all that i mean it was just it was a really beautiful effort and it's really sad um it's looking like it's a hoax we're waiting to hear from her or her family preferably her to see what in the world were you thinking but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, like I said, I think the police, the media and people in that neighborhood and whoever else that came out, I think they started to go fund me and all kind of stuff. So, I mean, it was great. It was absolutely great. And if there's anything, you know, this show is about perspective and about trying to find a, a, the best perspective in every situation. So the best perspective that I can say in this uh, particular situation is, like I say, the fact that they moved on this quick, they investigated, they looked, they searched, uh, the cop, uh, the chief of police even said they had dogs out there. Like they really looked for this woman. Um, and that's a beautiful thing. So anyway, I may come back next time once we, you know, the story breaks a little bit more and we kind of find out what on earth was Carly Lee uh, Russell thinking. You know, that's what I want to know. That's going to be the, the title of this video. That's what I want to know. I think that's what we're all waiting to know. So you guys will keep our ears open. <laughs> we'll keep our eyes open and we will be waiting for those answers. But uh, you guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit all notifications so that you'll know when I upload new videos. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, we'll see you next time.